Hi, I'm Kate, and today we're going to style a crop. Option one is to simply choose a longer shirt to wear underneath it, and then you can wear it with pretty much any kind of pants you want. Just find the right top that looks great under it. It only needs to come to your waist. It could be a little bit lower, but you don't have to get a tunic. French tuck. Love a French tuck. High-waisted pants are awesome. You can't even see the shirt that you've got underneath if your pants come high enough up. Great to wear with your crops. Unrelated question. Why does my hair look okay from here, but every time I try to take a picture, it looks like a crazy monkey is in one side of it? And now we're casual. I'm just paired my top with some skinny jeans, a tank top. This is just a normal plain white tank top, but it works. To be honest, this is the way I wear my crops most of the time. Easy peasy. Sneakers, all set, ready to roll. So this time I'm wearing a mini and it's not as high waisted as my pants. So I am going to show a little bit of the shirt. So I decided to go with the shirt where it was going to have a little bit going on at the neckline too. I like the mirroring of the neckline and the pop at the waist. So what do you think? I feel comfy. My skinny jeans are back, but this time I paired them with a long tunic that I absolutely adore. And of course, some high tops. This outfit makes me feel just a little dressier than when I was wearing my tee and jeans. It's all about how it makes you feel. Crop tops, tunics, and leggings. As dreamy as it gets, I won't even spend a long time on this one because I know you already know. Just don't forget to give your underlayer its moment to shine too. I love rolling out my sweater just once or twice so that I can roll my cuffs. And then I really get to rock my layers. Flare jeans are also having a moment in the sun. So what I decided to do was throw on yet another little tee underneath my crop. But this time I tied a little knot. Gotta love the asymmetry. Date night leggings. Now, I know I said we already did leggings, but these are fancy leggings, so they're different, right? This time, I'm wearing black boots, black fancy leggings, and a nice silk top with my crop. Totally love it. Did you know they make jersey skirts that are hitting you at the waist with pockets. Oh my gosh, everyone needs one of these skirts. It also looks great with my crop top. What I love about this outfit is that my t-shirt has a scoop in the front that goes lower, which contrasts with my high-low hemline on my sweater. And that's why it's so slimming because my waist is right here and that's where my skirt's hitting me, causing a little bit of a flare fabric right here, which my sweater then follows. And voila, super flattering, super cozy, super cute. And a girl's gotta love her cowboy boots. Probably the number one way crops are worn is over a cute dress. I really couldn't think of a better one than my little one with llamas. They're adorable. I could probably whip out 10 dresses in my closet and they all look amazing because crops and dresses go together like peanut butter and jelly. It's truth. It doesn't matter how long or short the dress is that you wear underneath your crop. 
Did I think twice about this very bright pink dress and my sage sweater? No, I did not. I especially love it when the dress is comfy and so are the kicks. Thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out my overview of how I wear a crop, which is a lot of different ways. I also hope you've enjoyed this tour of my shoes because yes, I have a lot of shoes and yes, I love them. And yes, I did wear a different pair with every outfit I tried on for you today. And I also hope that you'll take a minute and check out Just Nicole, which is the sweater pattern I've been wearing all day today. Just Nicole just got a makeover. She's out and she's super fresh. She includes a short sleeve and a long sleeve option, as well as a cropped and a longer length option. So if I haven't convinced you that you're gonna wanna wear a crop, you can go ahead and knit the longer length of Just Nicole. She's got beautiful asymmetrical lace detailing on the sides with an A-line shape, and her construction is from the top down with seamless set-in sleeves. If you've never tried this construction method, no worries. The pattern is full of tips and tricks, along with a diagram showing the construction method and links to video tutorials that will help show you each step. So go ahead and grab your copy. You will love this pattern. You will love wearing this sweater. And I hope that you will cast on very soon.